This is Jess. She fell in love with Stephen. And four years later, they both fell in love with Jessa. We have the same vibes, we have the same energy, so it was very easy. The trio were so enamoured with their new relationship, they decided to open up about it online. I was like, baby, just make a TikTok and put our polyamorous story on there. And when Jess did, it immediately blew up. Like what, five, six million views on her first video? But not everyone on TikTok approved. All right, so let's look at the comments. All the hater comments. Tell me your self-worth without telling me your self-worth. Ooh, okay. And there was one post in particular that really got people's backs up. When we just talk about things like he's too cute not to breathe, like he's so cute I may not be able to have kids, so whether it's my child, her child, whoever. You know how people are, they're like, this is garbage, what is this? We met on MySpace and he kind of messaged me yeah. and I kind of denied him at first and and she then shut me down quick. Yeah, and then I was going back through my messages one day and I was like, who is this cute guy and why did I stop talking to him? So we kind of connected back from there and that was about like 13 years ago. This is Jess and Steven. They've been married for 12 years and claim the secret to their success is dating other women together. We made the decision to become polyamorous probably like two years in the relationship. But we kind of had a conversation that I miss women. How can we go about this together? And we could have like grown apart and dated women separately, but we kind of decided to do this polyamorous thing. Then four years ago, they welcomed Jessa into their relationship. So I met Jess and Steven accidentally through Tinder. <laughs> I can't tell you what's cute. It's not just about sex. It's taking care of each other like you're all in a relationship, like which people don't really do. We have the same vibes, we have the same energy, so it was very easy. Being in a relationship with two people is definitely better than one, that's for sure. Currently, this whole trio are dating others as well as each other. We go out on dates and we are dating-ish, but like the whole super closed relationship we aren't. We date women together, but I don't date men because I already have a man and I'm looking for a woman. Of course, when people see that he has two girlfriends, they automatically think that he has more romantic freedom in the relationship. And I never date a girl without her. We date them together, so she's getting as much joy in it as I am. I guess since I was bisexual, it's more of like what I want. Recently, Jess and Steven ventured online to see if others were interested in following their niche lifestyle. Y'all are pretty. Wow. I was like, baby, just make a TikTok and put our polyamorous story on there and make some scenarios. And as soon as she did, I don't even know, it was like, what, five, six million views on her first video. You already some TikToks? Yeah, we'll do one real quick. Come a little closer so we can get the lighting. Yeah, and then we're gonna be like, I like it. When we're on social media, sometimes we ruffle feathers. When we talk about things like he's too cute not to breathe, I may not be able to have kids. So whether it's my child, her child, whoever, I'm accepting of Steven to have children with another woman. Because of their unusual posts, the trio have had a lot of hate online. We definitely get a lot of backlash on the internet and then we put our relationship out there as a talking point for people. So we've actually been banned 13 times on TikTok. And because there's not a dislike button, there's only a report button. When Karen sees our videos, they kind of just, we get taken down. All right, so let's look at the comments that people leave us, all the hater comments. Mm. He must be paying their rent. That's always a good one. And it's like, oh, he must be rich. You deserve better. Because people can't wrap their mind about the being poly, like they always have to be like, no, there is one favorite out yes. of that. Respect yourself, girl. We usually walk, look at the comments and we laugh. It makes us laugh. And we're like, oh, that's a good one, actually. This is hilarious. We're gonna go to the beach for a little bit, watch the sunset. When we go out in public, sometimes people stare at us. Well, a lot of times people stare at us, but we oh, just wow. try to ignore them. As long as we're happy, who cares? Our hope for the future is just to keep growing and learning and making more mistakes that we can learn from, really. I definitely personally think that I am going to be poly for life. 
I don't know what the future holds, but I do sure hope that it's going to be with this two. 13 years later, we're still doing it together. The fact that we can do everything that we do and we still come back to each other, I feel I like that. I feel like that's definitely a big thing. Sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs>